Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question how you can use the Shutterstock videos, photos, music or iStock images in the Cyberlink Power Director. When you do the subscription of the version 365, you get basically the same version as the version 20 or basically it's the same as 19, 18, 17, 16 and so. But the huge upgrade are the pictures definitely and it's easy to uh, search for them. But the question is then how can you use them? I've been trying to find something on their website. It was really difficult to find. And now when we have the program already installed, we can find this information here. I mean, when you double click here, you get to this uh, pop-up window where you can search for everything, then download. But here you can find some more information. That's really important. That's the most important thing here. And you can read everything. I'm not going to read everything. The most important thing is here. It says content is for use within Cyberlink products only. I mean, technically you could mark such an image here and then click on download and then you will find it in a cached file. Like in, it's, it's in a subfolder of the installation program of Cyberlink Power Director and you could use it on its own, let's say in an own program, but that's definitely not allowed. You're only allowed to use it here while you're creating a video and nowhere else. That's the biggest thing here. Here. Of course, there are also some other limitations regarding some adult things or you can't use that with tobacco or medical things or as a trademark or logo or so. That's also something which is really important. You have to consider that and that's probably the reason why it's so cheap when you go to these Shutterstock and iStock web pages and you just buy one single image or something like that and you pay you usually a very high price compared to the whole access which you have here and where you can download hundreds or even thousands of images or videos. Yeah, by the way, these are of course only the terms of usage for Shutterstock. Unfortunately, when we click on the iStock, there is no terms of usage here, but I guess it's pretty much the same. I'm not assuming that they are using different terms of uh, use for Shutterstock and iStock. So that's the thing here. You have to be aware of that. Other than that, you can use it wherever you want in your videos. And so you can even monetize it. I mean, you can create like YouTube videos, upload it to YouTube and then activate monetization. You can get some money. Of course, you have to add some other things. You cannot just download and post it and nobody will watch it. But uh, if you are using that in your own video, that's definitely okay. I've already been using that in a couple of my videos and it has been working really well absolutely no problem and YouTube has really harsh checks so you can assume that it's definitely no problem I've been also uploading such videos uh, with some content especially music uh, also on Amazon on the influencer videos and also there was no problem there and I, I think they are also running some copyright checks there yeah so that's it for now I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that then just let us know down in the feedback area I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time